My name's Kenan Malik. I'm a British-based, um, London-based uh, writer, lecturer and broadcaster. I was giving a talk this morning largely about the way we think about concepts such as diversity, identity, belongingness, culture, and many of the problems of the ways we think about these issues. I think we often use concepts such as diversity without really understanding what we mean by them or by thinking very hard about them. We imagine, for instance, that Europe used to be homogenous and that it's become diverse because of immigration. But that's only because we have a very narrow concept of what diversity is. We think about diversity primarily as diversity of ethnicity or culture, whereas societies are cut through by all sorts of differences, differences of class, gender, um, age, uh, and so on. And most of those differences we usually forget when we're talking about diversity. But if you go back to the Europe of the 19th century, you find that those societies were cut through by social and cultural conflict. We think now, for instance, that the struggle between, or the, or the clash between Islam and the West is something new. We worry about it, and uh, worry about whether Islamic values are compatible with Western values, and so on. But for 300 years, Northern European nations felt the same about Catholicism, that they thought about Catholicism in the same way as we now think about Islam. We've forgotten it. We've forgotten all that history. Uh, there's a kind of historical amnesia that creeps in when we talk about diversity. And it's important to recognise that it's not the case that Europe was homogenous and has become diverse because of immigration. Europe has been diverse in all manner of ways in the past. And in many ways, we're probably less diverse than we used to be. And if you ask yourself, is a 16-year-old teenager of Pakistani origin in Stockholm and a 16-year-old teenager of white origin in, in, in Stockholm. If you ask them, are they, if, the, the instant um, view is they're different cultures. But unlike in the past, they probably watch the same films, listen to the same music, wear the same clothes, um, support the same football team. In fact, we probably live in a more homogenous world than ever before. And yet we perceive that world as being very diverse. And part of what I was trying to do was say, let's have a th think again about that kind of perception. I think, firstly, it's important to think about the terms which we use. Terms such as diversity, terms such as culture, terms such as identity, and not accept them as givens. These are complicated, multi-layered concepts, and we need to often think about the different ways um, that we use them and the different meanings that they re represent. We also need to ensure that a concept such as identity, we recognise that we don't simply have a single identity. There's a single me, but who am I depends on for a start, and who's asking? Who am I to my daughter is very different from who am I to you. So identity works at, at a lot of different registers. I'm British. There are, but I'm not British in an uncomplicated, uncontested way. There are many aspects of British life that I like. There are many aspects of British life that I abhor. There are many aspects of British history. There are many British traditions that I uh, um, believe in. There are many aspects that make me shudder. So uh, our notions of identity, um, our, our concepts of who we are, are complicated things, and we ought to understand them in their complexities.